What is up everybody, Dan Dan the Fireman here, and we're gonna watch this video from Ironic Rebound. This is gonna be another video that he let me use, so thank you so much for letting me use it. But we have this white jacketed rider right here. He's gonna go over a bump on a train track, dumps the bike, and we're gonna talk about that. So it was quick, I want you guys to see it. Boom, right there, dumps the bike. The, the rider in the red almost does the same thing. So Ironic Rebound did some really good editing here, so we're just gonna let him do that. So let's see that again. So we're gonna rewind it, and he's gonna zoom in on him. So what happened is that this rider got bucked out of their seat, and then the front suspension, the front handlebars were twisted, which caused the rider to basically almost do like a tank slap. At the end of the day, it was just a loss of traction, just like when somebody grabs a fistful front brake without letting the tire get loaded with weight, and it dumps. So that's exactly what happened. It's just scary because it's a train track. It just come out of nowhere. Everyone else went over it fine. How come I crashed? So we're going to talk about that. So we're going to go back to the beginning and we can't really see very well what's happening with the rider in the white, but the rider in the red did the exact same thing, but didn't crash. So we're going to use that as the visual reference without having to zoom in. So the rider up front, he's going to crash and he hits this bump right here. Now there's a, you can kind of see the divot in there. You don't see a massive divot towards the left where the black rider is at right now, but with the white rider, he hit that bump. So this is where you need to start looking for roadway hazards. It's not just cars, it's not just pedestrians, it's not just grass clippings, it's bumps, it's potholes, it's especially at train tracks. So when you are coming up to a train track, just assume that there's gonna be a bump. There's gonna be like this this ru uh, rubber or asphalt or whatever it is that you're they're using on the train tracks itself. You ever seen that? It's like a big bump. Avoid those the best you can. So uh, that rider did not hit it turned his handlebars but we're going to look at this rider in red he does the exact same thing he goes over the same bump and it gives us a good idea of what happened so right here you can kind of see the the suspension working you see the bump but this part of the track is what really got the rider up front so we're going to hit that same bump and there's that big, you see the, the, the brake light is a good visual reference. This is what I'm looking at. The brake light shoots up. If the brake light, which is attached to the frame, shoots up, guess what else is shooting up? It's going to be you. So this is that whole getting bucked up like a, like a, on a horse. And this is why you need to sit up in your saddle and just, you know, get your butt up just off the seat a little bit and allow that to absorb the impact so it doesn't get translated into you. Because if it gets translated into you, where you're going, your hands are going to go forward and then when your body weight and your hands go forward, that's all that weight on the front suspension and the front tire. And especially if you hit that bump just prior, you know, with the front tire and you go forward, that tire might be for, uh, turned a little bit and you went all that weight now, boom, 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 drop. So that's gonna be the problem. But you're gonna see this rider right here hit. There's the bucking of them. And then you see, let's look at that front tire. That front tire is not in line with that rear tire. That front tire is not going forward. It's starting to twist. So this is what I like to do when I watch crash videos is because I like to see what happened, how it happened, and then it, the best visual reference I possibly can. So one thing you could do right here is kind of give yourself a visual reference with the license plate in, in conjunction with that tire because the tire is on the swing arm, so it's going to try its best to stay towards the ground. The license plate is attached to the frame. And it's going to move up. So you're going to see how there's a little bit of a tire here, and then once we go over the bump, now there's like a lot of tire right there. So that force is translated into your body, which pushed him up, even if it's just slightly. But now look at this front tire. I want you to look at the front tire for a little bit. Watch, see how it's twisting around? See how it's twisting around? That right there is exactly what happened to the rider up front because he got bucked forward. The front handlebars were twisted because of the first initial hit. It was twisted, got bucked forward, landed on the front tire and moved it around dump the bike. This rider in the back probably didn't have a lot of weight go to the front, just enough to give it a little bit squirrely, but not enough didn't cause him to drop. So guys, when we go over a bump like this, we go over anything like a train track or speed bump or anything like that, let's lift that butt up. Let's not go over it straight because it's going to buck us up a little bit, put a little more weight on the front tire and make it spin. I want to give you guys the why and the hows and the what's and all that stuff. I'm giving you too much information. That way you can boil it down and get exactly what you need, okay? So what we're doing right here is that we see a motorcyclist that has crashed and looks a little dazed. I will pause it at certain parts so I can emphasize certain things. So he's a little dazed. We have more than one rider and then we have a, a homeowner that is saying, hey, relax, let's not go, stop, calm down. It's okay, it's okay. So we're gonna have issues. He's calling 911 and